Hi. Okay, I don't have that ridiculous eyeliner on today. Nobody told me that my one eye was like this and the other one was like this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm given I'm given a lot of sparkle today on Friday. Yep. And I'm look, I'm looking at my hair. You don't have to, but I'm looking at it because it's the first time I've worn it down since I got it colored. The good thing about blonde is that you can always, ch it's harder to go blonde than it is to go um, from blonde to anything else um, because it'll ruin your hair. It can, it, it doesn't, it won't necessarily ruin your hair, but it can ruin your hair because bleaching it really takes a lot of uh, well, it can damage your hair. Anyway, there I go touching my hair again. So I hope I don't get the are you stoned or just tired look. Today I am not stoned or tired. Yay, that's a good one. Um, the gummy bear seemed to be a big, big uh, to-do on online yesterday. I got a lot of comments about gummy bears. I even got cartoons of gummy bears that people sent me. So I'm glad I brought that subject up. I just wanted to say you have to be, you have to be responsible with them. And when I, I listened back to my story, and it's so true, you cannot take any of that stuff in the middle of the night and think you're gonna get up and drive somewhere. You just can't. You gotta be so responsible. If you're gonna take them, take them around eight o'clock at night, fall asleep by nine o'clock and go to, go to bed. But other than that, don't, don't, don't do it. And then a couple questions I got was, what kind of lipstick do I, am I wearing? And look at this, isn't this cute? Look at this, these are lips. Isn't that cute? I think it's so cute. It's this great company I love, Pat McGrath Labs. And I don't know what color this is. It just says lip balm. It feels so good. And no, by the way, I have never had my lips done. You can tell, you can see these there that's me with my lips done that's me normal go back and look at old pictures of me my daughters are always going god mom why didn't i get your lips i go but you got my hair and we know it's thick yuck and you got my cheekbones and you got my nose and you didn't get dad you got dad one of them got dad's height I have one daughter that's almost five, it's over 5'10 and a half. She's a tall girl. She, she could be a Victoria's Secrets model, but she didn't want to do it. And I was like, but I could get you on the catwalk. She's like, nah, because she's got her dad who was a baseball player and her mom who was an actress. And none of my kids wanted to go down that lane of anybody knowing who they were. If people come up to me, my kids turn around and walk away and act like they don't even know me. It is the funniest thing. Um, I don't even know if they know what I've done, or at least they, they, they act like they don't know what I've done. Um, and, um, and we don't really talk about it a lot. It's not a big subject around here. I don't go around going, well, did you see me in so-and-so? Did you see me when I did the soap opera, when I did this movie in Japan? We don't, we don't, we don't talk about things like that around, around the household because that's a job. I don't think you come home and be working at Xerox and start talking about your job at Xerox. So we don't talk about what we do. Um, they just get to read the papers and find out when one of us is messed up, which is usually me. And that started when I was in my 40s. I wish I would have gotten everything out of my system when I was in high school, like most people. No, no, I had to wait until I was in my 40s to do anything stupid. And boy, did I pile some stuff up on myself. Um, yeah, high school would have been so much better. 
drugs, sex, rock, even during the 80s, rock and roll, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, there weren't any, there weren't, there was, the only reason there was sex was because I was married. There were no drugs, but there was rock and roll. So that whole lifestyle of that sex, drugs, and rock and roll only happened when we opened for Motley Crue. Only time it happened. The rest of the time, my ex-husband didn't drink. Um, the band didn't drink. No one did drugs. Rudy Sarzo, one of the loves of my life. I love him so much. He's such a good man. Did, did, no drugs. Didn't do drugs. Adrian, no drugs. Steve Vai, no drugs. Nobody did anything. So, so we, I got really lucky. Um, I didn't, I'd, I'd never done drugs. Well, okay. So I dropped acid a couple times with, um, my, with Rob, and all those guys in, in the band Phenomenon and Rat um, back in the day, a couple of times, but you can't, you have one bad trip and that's it. And I was telling you the other day about the time that I had my arms in a bear and I didn't finish the story and I need to learn how to do that so that I don't leave you guys hanging. So I put my hands in this fur coat and I looked down, my nails were really long and I thought I was eaten, I had been eaten by a bear. And it was the worst trip and I, it was four o'clock in the morning and I didn't have a car. I ran over to the neighbor's house. I was staying at a girlfriend's house, knocked on his door and I said, can you drive me to Point Loma? I got to go to Point Loma. It's where Rob lived at the time. So he drove me over to Point Loma. I get over there and Rob's like, what did you do? And I told him what I did and he slapped me real, not hard, he just kind of slapped me across the face like, wake up! Like you see in the 50s movies, in the 50s, you know, like, bam, <gasps> why did you hit me? Like that, and then took a Valium and stuck it in my mouth and I went to sleep and slept it off. So thank God for people who know how to deal with people that are having bad trips. Hashtag good for you. Um, so I did it a couple times and then I had that bad trip and I never did it again. Um, but, um, and I was just talking about staying on track and where was I going? What was I saying? Yeah. So sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So, so I didn't do anything in high school. I didn't do anything. I, I did that a couple of times, but I didn't, I wasn't, uh, uh, um, habitual, uh, anything. Um, I, I still to this day have not drank. Um, I still to this day don't smoke pot. Um, I tried Coke one time for a couple months. Um, and I mean a couple months, I mean straight. And, um, and that, that's, that's it. Um, I, I had did some, I did some stupid things after turning 40. Is anybody else out there like me that you didn't, didn't get it out of your system when you were a teenager? So you, after a divorce, you up and start thinking, hey, I got this, this single thing wired and down and I'm going to do all the horrible things I never got around to doing in my life. Great move. I don't suggest it. I suggest if you haven't done anything by 40, keep it that way. Just don't do it. Take it from a woman who's in her 50s now and who could care less about any of that stuff. And am I glad I did it? Well, yeah, I, that's one of the things that I don't regret. You know, you know how I feel. I'd rather be 90% instead of 100% of myself um, because there are certain things I've gone through that I wouldn't, wouldn't want to go through again or it it was just a bunch of bullshit and um and I wouldn't want to see the light of day of those um days again but that yeah I have no problem that was that was fine I'm glad I knew what it felt like what it was like when people are talking about it I know what they're talking about um other than that Life is good. It's Friday. Everybody gets to go home and have the weekend. Get off your phones unless you're watching this. And then, of course, subscribe and like and send me comments because this weekend I'm going to be commenting, going through all my comments. And it's almost coming up to 10 minutes, so I've got to go. I love all you guys very much. Thank you so much. Subscribe and all my best. Bye.